Holy moly, it is super bright and my neighbor is mowing. All right, it's a little loud, but here we are. It's Sunday. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Amy Procopus. I am a author of young adult novels like the science fiction novel, The Arena, and the first in my new series, which is an urban fantasy series, Guardians of the Sixth Gate, comes out October 31st. June, are you eating plants over there? I think you're eating some plants. Woo, so it's Sunday morning. Um, it's been kind of a productive Sunday. I had a bit of a conundrum with the sink. You saw that if you watched last week's video. Um, but it's a long weekend, so I actually have tomorrow off from work because it is Labor Day. So I'm getting writing done today and hopefully also tomorrow. I'm planning to run tomorrow also. And now that I'm outside, it is beautiful out here. It's a little warm. It's sunny kind of warm, like, like you can feel the sun on your arms kind of sun. Um, so, whoa, that was a really big butterfly that almost landed on my head. It did land on my head. <laughs> oh my gosh. So what is, what even is this intro? Oh my gosh. Okay. So I came back inside because it was getting a little crazy out there. I'm sure you saw. Um, but, uh, I do have today and I have tomorrow because tomorrow we're off for Labor Day. So I'm hoping to get a lot of writing things done this week. Um, I'm going to do like a normal Sunday, go about my normal Sunday routine today. So I'm going to here in just a couple minutes, get into my afternoon writing session on the sequel of Guardians of the Sixth Gate, because that's what I've been writing on. I will update you guys. Um, yesterday, I got over 50,000 words. I'm over halfway into it, so I'm feeling really good about the draft. Um, and tomorrow, I'll probably do more writing, but also I wanted to plan out um, some other bookish things for the next couple months. So one of my SMART goals, if you watched last week's video, I talked a little bit about my SMART goals. I also talked extensively about them in the August wrap up video. So you can watch that and get more in depth. But the gist of it is one of my SMART goals is um, writing related. It almost always is at least one of them. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to build a uh, launch plan for Guardians of the Sixth Gate because that comes out in just a little over a month, which is crazy. But I also wanted to develop like a, I'm calling it a buzz building, a book buzz building plan for the sequel because I'm hoping fairly soon I'll be finished with the draft and we'll be able to move into like the editing and, and production phase for that book. And as that happens, I need to have a plan to start outing information to you guys, such as the title. So I do have the title for the sequel picked. There will be three books total in this series and then a spinoff I have kind of planned out. Um, so for this three book series, I already have all of the titles picked. They're pretty set in stone. They fit everything that I envisioned for this book very well. So hopefully, this weekend I can plan out um, like my timeline for releasing that information as well. So that's the plan for the next two days. But for now, let's get into today's Sunday writing session. All right, so I'm not into writing stuff yet, but I wanted to share with you like my self-care calendar for the week and things that I'm doing. So lots of exciting things this week. I'm super jazzed about it. So tomorrow, my cover designer it officially starts with our contract. So I need to start prep a little bit on that. I need to get a barcode set up to send her for my ISBN for the paperback. So that's this week, tomorrow, and we're off from work. So that's super exciting. The, I have, I have a chiropractor this week. That always makes me feel better. It's kind of self-care anymore to me, but the self-care activity I have planned for this week was actually planned almost a month ago. My husband's, oh my gosh. So we got cut off. But anyway, as I was saying, um, my husband is usually a little bit more in tune to my anxiety sometimes before I am. Like he can he can sense when I'm tense before I, I sometimes know. So 
he told me about a month ago. He said, I'm going to schedule you a massage. So I have, I've been to this lady before for a massage. She's amazing. It's like the best massage I've ever had. Deep tissue. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. So I have that scheduled on Saturday at nine o'clock in the morning. So that is the self-care, like the actual activity that I am intentionally planning for this week. I do have, and I've already written them all in my planner for the whole month of September. On Wednesdays, I am doing a midweek mental health check. So I'm just going to kind of self-assess how things have felt for me the, for the week thus far. And if I feel like I need to take a little bit of more, like a little more time for myself, then I will adjust from there. So if I feel like I need an extra little self-care moment, whether that be like the yoga I did in last week's vlog, even if it's just like a 20 minute yoga session or even just 10, that is something to help bust some stress. So I just wanted to share that with you guys before I actually got into today's Sunday writing session because I wanted to make sure I had that stuff planned out first. So now on to writing. We are having a Monday brunch D and D, so all the guys are over instead of normally Monday night. Since we are all off from work today for Labor Day, I have been reading "If the Broom Fits," which is like the last of my Sarah Sutton book, other than the Christmas book, before I get to teaching teachers' pets. So that I've been working through today. I'm almost there. I'm halfway in. I'll probably finish this today, but I'm going to spend the afternoon. Now that Finn has gone down for a nap, I am going to spend the afternoon getting like an extra writing session in because I don't normally get to write Mondays. I usually read during D&D, &D, but since Finn is sleeping, it's daytime. It kind of fits a normal weekend routine for me writing wise. So I'm going to try and sneak one in and we will see how that goes. So I'll update you guys here in a little bit. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. work. It's Wednesday. There are some updates. Oh my gosh. So I got a call yesterday from my grandpa. I've talked about him before. He's just turned 90 and um, he has, he was talking about getting a new car for himself and he found one he liked and he decided to give me the old one. So I came home today with a new car, at least new to me. Um, so it's, I mean, it's newer than what I already, like what I'm driving right now, what I drive right now, I've had since I was a senior in high school. So it's not a super old car. It's in good shape because I don't drive a lot, but it is older now. And so what he's very kindly given me is newer and in a whole lot better shape than what I had. So, and it's got some more space in it since I have Finn now and carting around stuff. So super, super thankful. So my gosh, it was a really good day. That was so nice of him. He um, didn't have to do that, but wow. So um, that 
that was great. That made the week super nice. So huge thanks to him. Um, and it's Wednesday and my plans for today. Oh my gosh. I'm so scatterbrained after all that. Oh my gosh. So Wednesday evening. So Alex is going to work tonight and my plan is to, I was going to write, but I actually have a video that I want to record. I've already, I already recorded this once. It's how I edit my books. I recorded a version of it once, but in the version that I recorded, every time I like moved a certain way or did something with the camera, there was this noise and it was super annoying. It's really not that bad of a video and I could edit it, but I decided it's really longer than it needs to be anyway. Let's just reshoot it. So I'm going to reshoot that video, make it a little bit more concise, and that will probably be all I get done for tonight. But I really wanted to share that update with you guys. So this has been a whole lot better of a week than like the last few from like mental health standpoint, writing standpoint. I finally feel like I'm gaining my footing and actually moving somewhere. So that is huge. <laughs> Ooh, so we had conference today. Um, I'm planning on going back to work because it's only midday. I'm running home to eat lunch, let the dogs out, let the dog out, only one. And then it's off to work again. And then this evening, hopefully back to book things. My recording did not go super well yesterday for a video. So maybe I will be able to re-record that today. So we shall see. I'm home. We are outside in the backyard, taking June out, playing. I got out a little bit late, so I'm just getting home. It's close to dinner time, so the plan is to make dinner. Um, I don't know if I'll get to record that video or not tonight, just because it we're running a little bit behind normal Thursday schedule. So we'll see if not, that's fine. I'll just do it over the weekend, but I don't have much else planned for tonight, except maybe looking at some other book things. I still haven't done my planning for like my publication timeline for the year. So maybe I'll do that tonight. Um, I guess we'll see. Say so I'm walking to Nogi. Happy Friday. Don't really have plans for tonight. Um, there's a new ramen place open in town that my husband, Alex, has already tried out. And I kind of want to go and do that, but we'll see. It depends on what time he gets back from work. He had a work thing out of town that he thought he'd be back by five-ish from. So we'll see. And then it's into the weekend, so writing things and um self-care activity my goal going into this month was setting self-care activities once a week so i have a massage booked at nine tomorrow that i am super excited for so in other news i just realized that i named the main character in guardians of the sixth gate her name is victoria johnson and I only just realized that I know a whole clan of Johnsons that I'm very good friends with. And I did not intentionally name her Johnson. <laughs> I just wanted a very common name for this girl who feels very ordinary. <laughs> and Johnson was the name I picked. And I did not even think about the fact that I know very, very many Johnsons. <laughs> so sometimes when it comes to writing things, Sometimes we don't always plan for things to turn out the way that they do. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man. So I got a massage this morning. My self-care activity for this week was the massage. Um, I'm also in the new car. So this is the first time that I drove, that I've driven the new car. I did move it around our driveway a couple times, but this is the first time I've taken it out. It's a lot longer than the car I drove before, but oh my gosh, it's so much nicer to drive for so many reasons. I mean, it's newer, so there's that, um, but it's just, it's touchier. Like the actual mechanics of driving is surprisingly easier than what my old car was. So I feel better driving, which is a big thing for me because um, I don't think I've talked about it too much on my channel, but some of you will know that I used to have very severe driving anxiety to the point where the to the point that I would avoid driving at all costs and it got so bad that I wouldn't it got so bad at one point that I didn't ever drive on the highway I would only drive in town which is why I looked my old car which it was a like a 2009 model only had 73,000 miles on it which is crazy for it being a 2009 year um, I think this car actually has more miles on, on it than the one that I'm moving from, but, um, I feel a lot better in this car already. So that should help alleviate some of my anxiety. I will say though, I parked on a busy street downtown, so I am going to have to back out and there's a little bit of a blind spot right there because of this car and then the stoplights right there. So I am a little bit nervous about that, but um, yeah, feeling a lot better. Um, super glad I got the massage. Oh my gosh, I feel like still kind of in this other headspace. Um, but yes, so into the weekend, into the weekend. Today is Saturday, I am going to do some writing and um, I think I'm gonna do some planning. I might do a whole video about some of the planning in the future. Right now, I am just now getting set into this planning system, so it'll restart again in the new year. So I might do a video all about that in January, but um, for the time being, that's the plan for today is to do a little bit of um, like book launch planning and then planning for the sequel and then writing, of course. So we will move on to that. So I just filmed the how I edit my books video. It went well this time. You know, you guys know I've tried filming this three different weeks and none of it stuck. So this time around, I liked what I did better one, but also the technology worked for me. So I am downloading that right now. And then I'm going to do a final watch through because um, it looked funky on the website. So I'm gonna watch through it. And I think if it's good from there, I think I'm gonna go ahead and upload it today because I am a little behind on my time frame for that video. I was supposed to have it out on Wednesday. So better late than never, right? Um, so that's the plan. We'll see how that lands. And then from there, I'm going to do um, move into my afternoon writing session for the sequel to Guardians of the Sixth Gate. Every Saturday or Sunday, depending on her schedule, I join Jen's bookshelf on YouTube. I join her writing sprint. So that's every weekend. So if you um, like community or want to connect with me and when I'm writing, you can connect with me there. Um, I used to do writing sprints live streams on my YouTube channel. So let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in doing maybe a weekly live stream, maybe not on the weekends, like when she does hers, but maybe one during the week where we could sit down and work on whatever you guys are working on at the moment, whether that's writing or folding laundry. Sometimes that's what I do during her stream. Um, but let me know if you'd be interested in doing a writing live stream. Um, in the past, I didn't have a whole lot of people join me for those. So I didn't, I kind of stopped doing them. People would watch them back because I do Q and A's and stuff, but um, I didn't usually have tons of people that would join me during the stream. So if that's interesting, let me know. So 
I have so many things to do. I'm gonna start this morning with putting up laundry because I'm a little behind on that and doing laundry also. <laughs> so we're gonna start with that. I have a video up. I'm doing publishing and marketing like research. So I have some like training videos up. So I think I'm gonna listen to those, put laundry up and then what? Then it's probably on to other household chores. I'm a little boring this morning. So um, we'll see where that gets me. So my morning is turning into a lot of chores. Whoa, that weird lighting. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and end this week's vlog here. And then we'll start into next week. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so, so much to those of you who watch these videos every single week and leave me comments and we have wonderful conversations. Please continue to do that. I am loving connecting with you guys and learning about how you write books um, and sharing how I write books. I love it. So make sure that you do leave me a comment below. Tell me, I don't know, tell me what you're working on, maybe what you're reading. Um, are you excited for Halloween? Because I am dying for October. Um, <laughs> so tell me all of the things in the comments below. Give a like to this video. Make sure that you're subscribing also because like I said, these videos go out every single week, but I also post really fun extra book related things. For instance, my how I edit my books is out on YouTube right now. So you can watch that at my channel. So make sure that you're subscribing so you don't miss any other bookish content. Um, that's pretty much it. You can connect with me on social media also. I am slowly finding my way back more consistently to Instagram and TikTok especially. So you can find me there. Send me all the things that you see, all the funnies. Um, but that's pretty much it. So thank you so much. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!